Today, we're going over this Z-Wave Smart Plug. It is really easy to install and get it working with your hub. In my case, this is Home Assistant. Just get your hub into pair mode and then just plug the unit in and it will automatically pair up with your hub. If for whatever reason it doesn't automatically pair, then you have to press this button three times rapidly. One, two, three. The light will start blinking and that's how you know it's in pairing mode. Within 10 seconds, it will pair with your hub. Next, you can plug in whatever you want into this outlet right here. And then you can remotely control the appliance as needed. In today's video, we're going to get this working along with a siren. If you have an old alarm system, chances are you know what this is. This is a siren. There's various companies that's making it, but most likely it's a DSC. The unit uses 12 volt DC, so you can't just plug this directly into the smart plug. You need a 12 volt DC adapter. I'm going to have everything in the link description for you. Don't worry. So here's my setup. Previously, I removed the uh, DSC touchscreen panel and I replaced it with a Samsung tablet. This Samsung tablet runs Home Assistant, so I can control everything from the lights, the doors, to the cameras. I remove the siren and this is what I see. I see there's four pairs of wires. I only need two to power up this siren. One is for ground and the other one is 12 volt DC. So here you can see the uh, alarm panel that we're no longer using because I made everything smart. But I still use all of the wire connections. When I trace the wires using a multimeter for connectivity test, this is what I found. Here are the four wires that you saw earlier, but we only need two. One is for ground and the other one is for 12 volt DC. Because this is a big house, there's a bunch of sirens. That's why I'm pairing another siren into the loop as well. So here's one on the third floor, 12 volts, and another one for ground as well. We're using these crimp so it'll securely hold all of the wires in place and all of the contacts and making sure that it doesn't touch anything else. This is even better than electrical tape. Here you can see I've already crimped the two wires and this is one of the 12 volt DC adapter going in. Here's the other wire that will be crimped into this connection as well. In the crimp toolbox, there's many size. We are using the smallest one, which is the red one. The kit also comes with the uh, crimp pliers. So all you have to do is put the crimp into this slot right here and then clamp it down. Pretty easy, much, much faster than using electrical tape and more secure as mentioned before. And to further secure the connection, we're gonna use a heat gun. When you blow super hot heat into the crimp connection, it will shrink and it will hold everything into place. Here's another look of it after I use the heat gun. You can see everything shrank and it's holding the wires really secure. Let's take a look at the plug compared with another plug, which is Zigbee. You can see that this Zigbee is much more chunkier, thicker, but more compact. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. So basically its depth is greater, but this Z-Wave plug is more um, flatter, but of course it's more wider. It takes up more space. It's thinner, but it takes up more space, more like a square as you can see. I got my 12 volt DC adapter plugged into the Z-Wave smart plug. And then this 12 volt DC adapter is plugged into the siren. All right, now that we're done with the basement, let's go back up to the first floor and see how the siren works. When you pop it up, look on the right side, you'll see a bunch of wires. Black is for ground. Red is for one of the uh, alarm. Yellow is for another alarm tone. So play around and see which one you like. Personally, I prefer the one with yellow. So we only need one black for ground and one of the tone, which is yellow. If you want to make it simple, all you have to do is connect the black to black and the yellow to the other wire to get your 12 volt DC from the basement. Personally, I added a flip switch to make it extra secure, meaning that when the alarm goes off and I can't kill it with the hub, then I can always manually flip the switch and it will turn the alarm off. Otherwise, I would go crazy. This alarm is super loud, okay? 
So here you can see that the 12 volt DC has to go through this manual switch and then it will go back into the yellow core, the yellow wire. By the way, opening the siren is really easy. All you have to do is look underneath the siren. There should be one Phillips screw. When you loosen the Phillips screw, then you can take out the whole thing by pulling it away from the wall. Alright, now that you've done with the hardware setup, let's go into the hub. Once again, I'm using Home Assistant as the hub, so I'm going to go into Settings. Integrations. Scroll all the way down to Z-Wave. If you had the Z-Wave plug successfully into the hub, this is what you will see. You're only going to get one entity, which is the uh, switch, whether it's going to be on or off. Right now it's in the off position. If you click on it, go to settings, then you can rename it to whatever you want. I'm naming mine as Plug House Sirens. We're going to need the entity ID, so go ahead and copy it. Oh, by the way, you can rename this as well instead of just Node 43. I'm going to rename it as Plug House Siren. The area will be my basement. Click on Update. You can hit Rename or just hit No. Now, let's set up an automation. Go to Settings. Automations. Create Automation. Start with an empty automation. Add a trigger. State. Because we're using Alarmo as the house alarm system, we're just going to click on it, Alarmo. When the state changes to trigger, then I want the siren to be turned on. So we're going to click on Add Action, Call Service. The service will be turning that switch on. Choose Entity, which is the plug that we just made. I renamed mine as Plug House Siren, as you saw before. Click on Save. It's going to ask you, what do you want to save this automation? I'm just going to save it as Alert. House has been triggered. Oh, I also got, I want to be sure that uh, something else happens as well. I want to get a notification from Telegram, so click on Add Action. Call Service. It will be Notify Telegram. The message will be, the house siren is on. Click on Save. All right, hopefully this video was helpful on giving you ideas on how to use this uh, Z-Wave Smart Plug. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.